Hey, what's up, folks? Welcome to another Show and Tell. I'm Noel Ruiz. This is Paige Ruiz, and we're hosting this week's Show and Tell. Everybody's welcome to join in. If you'd like to be a part of the show, you can click on the link in our Discord chat room, and uh, we're going to take a couple minutes uh, to welcome everybody. And you can take about three to five minutes to share your project. How's that? Is that, is that good? Yeah, let's go ahead and start off with Liz. Okay, I'm going to bring Liz in. Hello, Hi, Liz hello. and special guest, Winnie. Winnie. Hi. She's having a very exciting night because there's a lot of lasers here. Um, but this week, uh, I worked on a project uh, kind of called a Cutie Pie Midi Friends. Uh, so Sandy McDonald posted up on Twitter um, this concept of like doing a really small um, circuit to do a MIDI TRS conversion. Um, so basically you can take in MIDI over USB and then send it out over TRS. So basically makes it so that your hardware synth can now get um, MIDI stuff from your computer. Uh, so we expanded a little bit, um, did one for TRS A, TRS B, um, and also classic DIN 5. Um, so yeah, um, and so the code's all written in CircuitPython, um, and it's just point-to-point -point wiring, like really simple, um, and we did that so that it could stay nice and small, um, and yeah, um, really simple, just two really low-value resistors um, on the data and BCC and ground, and then you're ready to go. Yay, all of our so, retro mini synths can now rejoice in the, oh. in the late 90s now with USB. I got yeah. myself a micro Korg and that one just has Den 5 and it's like, ah, I need this other converter box. And like the converter box no longer has a driver that's supported for my oh Mac my OS. <laughs> so this is going to bring that back to life. So wow. we'll be able to use this thing again. And I, yeah. I did test it with my micro Korg actually, coincidentally. Yeah. That's Den 5 synth I have. Um, yeah. And it has a couple broken keys at this point because I've had it. Oh. Since I was a teenager and it's seen things. Oh, um, so have, now uh, <laughs> um, if you can do MIDI, you don't have to worry about the hardware keys. Um, yeah. Cool. And also uh, the world of TRS MIDI is very interesting. And just that like it can be TRSA is now the standard, um, but there's a bunch of devices that also have TRSB and you can't tell oh. um, just by looking like which one it is. So you can have to, oh, there's luckily there's resources online to check. Um, and I link that in the guide, uh, but um, cool. it's literally just swapping two signals. Um, oh, so. excellent. Cool. So it's turned into like what USB is now, the second gen, the 3.1, the yeah. two. Yeah. It's so like, many flavors of it. Which one is the fast one? Oh, man. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> cool. yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, Liz. All right. Yeah. We'll check in with you next week. Yeah. All right. Have okay. a good one. All right. Bye. Okay. Next up, we're going to check in with Jeff. With Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Hello, Jeff. Hello. Welcome to my basement. So um, if you watch the new products, you might have seen this board that Adafruit is stocking from Pi Maroni called the Servo 2040. And it's got the RP2040 microcontroller and connections for 18 different uh, RC servo motors. And they said, well, we have source for uh, Arduino and for uh, MicroPython, but with CircuitPython, you can't run all 18 servos yet. Uh, so Lamore deputized me to add that. And I've just got four here, but you'll notice they're hooked to the very first connector and the very last connector. So imagine that there's the full 18 servos, and I'm just going to hit the reset button here, and everybody is going to start going. So this support is in the just-released new uh, alpha version of 7.3.0 for you to try out. It is best on the Servo 2040 because it's got these great connectors, but it will work with any board that's based on the RP2040. And that's kind of what I've been up to. And I learned about servo motors and made this kind of janky little bracket just to show them off. Um, and now I need a project to put them in because otherwise I'll just sit around. So uh, if you have your ideas on Discord, what I can do with these four servo motors, please. Yeah, before yeah. the show, we were uh, chatting and saying, I bet when Phil B hears that sound, he automatically <laughs> thinks of like ears moving and tails, which I think that's the project right there. Just have like two yeah. tails and like, I don't know. yeah, I, ears and I, tails. Two, well, two tails. I, I don't tails necessarily see myself as a person who should have had a tail, but I definitely. Uh, <laughs> I love the challenge though for like yeah. when you did the flapping wings. You did like, the okay. wings. Yeah. Those so, were quite the thing. So heaven, yeah, yeah we redo the ran out of, of servos. So yeah. it's like, this how do true. we get ears plus tail plus mm -hmm. wings? So something mm -hmm. like that would be awesome. Yeah. yeah, with this guy you can do eighteen, which 
that is a whole heckin' lot. That's like yeah. doing like the mask and like having the eyebrows yeah, and like, like whatever yeah. the twitch the stuff that Phil B posts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and there is an external power input. So you know when you go beyond mm, wow. what you can do over the USB. Huh. So yeah, I think it's a pretty nice little board. Of course, everything Circuit Python runs on it. It's in the Adafruit store, mm-hmm. and of course, it's in the Pimeroni store. So awesome! Yeah, yeah, we check get, that out. Uh, we I want to get the new build. Jay, yeah. Jay needs to get this. <laughs> oh so yeah, 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 yeah. Jay is like I'm their Helen customer, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Be cool. so cool. Well, if you've got another minute, I have an update on my yeah. project that I think I showed last week. So I brought this little yes. badge, and I was looking at it, and I thought, well, I've got these screws still visible on the front because I based this off of the laser cut, but I use the. Um, the threaded inserts. So on the back, there's just nothing visible from the fasteners. And I'm like, well, why don't I move that around so that the fasteners are on the back and the front is just this beautiful, pristine thing. Well, depending how good your first layer is. And then the other fun thing on the Adafruit blog, they had this um, QR code generator that um, this isn't showing up. I'll drop the picture in our Discord again. This is a Blinka QR code that links to circuitpython.org. And in person, it just it looks like a picture of Blinka with some little staticky bits on it. It's a really great that is um, awesome. QR code generator. So yeah, I'll drop a couple links in the Discord. I have not posted up the design for this yet. Um, this design is posted on my Thingiverse and on my printables. This design will probably go up after PyCon. Um, okay. Yeah, and I'll cool. share some links over in the Discord. So. Yeah, I'd love yeah, to do I'll, a post I'll, for it too. I'll blog that one up as well. Yeah, cool, super cool. cool. And Yay. there was one thing I was gonna say. Ah, I forgot. Dang it. Oh shoot. Ah, it was about the pie game. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, the QR builder look works really good. Even like a teeny tiny little poaches, uh, postage stamp when you posted it on mm-hmm. the Slack. I just did a quick test and the oh, phone picked it up phone right away. Yeah, yeah so I am really you surprised. You can get how extremely well small. Up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Super surprised because I didn't have the window maximized or anything. It was just a tiny little thing in the corner and it freaking worked. So cool. Yeah, whoever did that, it's amazing. Thank you for sharing that with yes. us. That's great. Cool. All right, cool. I think that's going to be it. Nice little yeah. short show. Cool. Well, thanks, everybody. Uh, awesome projects, folks. Yeah, but don't go anywhere. Uh, Ask an Engineer comes right up in like 20 minutes. All right. I get a little break before I go. Right. Let's go get the dog. Right. Get some, yeah, get some chips. <laughs> awesome. Thanks All for right, hosting thanks, YouTube. Jeff. It's yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah we'll Thank have some hosts, by. as I've heard. We'll have some more special hosts. Yeah. Can't cool. wait. Awesome. Maybe right, it'll well, be you, Jeff. Maybe. Maybe <laughs> it'll day. be me. One day. Uh, you, I'll, I'll be away for a little while soon, so I'm going to do right, a little right. travel, and uh, you won't see my face every Wednesday. But uh, oh, we'll miss maybe fun. I'll send some Be photos. safe. Yeah. yeah. Get some drinks for us. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Thanks, All right, folks. We'll see you. Bye, everybody.